All right. I messed up the first recording for this. So now I have to redo this again. Feels content creator, man. So Jean the Arc, I really like her skill buff. I do think Jolters is more applicable. You're going to see it used more than you would use Jean the Arc. Just because like single target Avenger, really nice for some of these storm pod nodes over a stall servant that now can do light art support. Flagship servant of fate apocrypha and helped escalate Estolfo. <laughs> she honestly is the reason Estolfo is as goaded as he is. He, she was able to see through his double phantasm <laughs> and discover <laughs> the monstrous strength he had within. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm straight, but the Stolfo, all the Stolfo shit is just too funny. Um, except Ankomon and stuff. And, uh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, anyway, let's not talk about new codes. Let's talk about gameplay. HP is over here, not here. We don't care about this attack. HP, it's pretty goddamn high. It was probably one of the highest at the start of the game. Is it still the highest? No, that title belongs to Jinniko because at level 120, I believe her HP is like 22K. She's off by a thousand, but again, saying you are have less HP than the highest HP servant in the entire game is not an anti feat. She's a ruler. Unlike Jinniko, Jinniko is heavily reliant on all the MPs. Uh, She's heavily reliant on on all the invuls instead of just like John has ruler class advantage. She's naturally going to be more tanky, and she has the invul and can technically spam it as much as Jinniko. Just uh, there are some definite definite caveats to that. MB charge 0.76, cool. Until you see her hit counts are horrendous. Sargen normal night class but holy shit i wish she got the animation update i wish they changed her hit counts too but it feels like they balance her hit counts for her to always be soloing that is not how people even used her they used her as a stall to use with mash and tomomo to just like stall out shit um oh no that was specifically king protea that was specifically Ki King Protea, where you'd like stall out until you can do King Protea. Um, but yeah, solos, pretty much. That's the only thing I can see that said, oh yeah, let's make this servant have horrendous face car refund. She barely was getting enough stars to crit because this is her original first skill, nine stars per turn. She wasn't getting enough stars to even print on a single card. Why would you gimp her gains this much? Year one fucking game design. The new skill buff, much better. Makes these art arts cards slightly better. 20% battery. She has a problem getting back to her MP if she's not spamming arts chains. This definitely will help. And the stars per turn goes from 9 to 15. And mighty chains, especially if John is solo, this is probably going to be enough to get at least let her credit on something. Preferably the arts cards. But then at that point, you can kind of just do mighty chains and make stars and credit on the arts card consistently that you don't need to spam arts chains when she's by herself. Uh, this also does mean she can be used for as say your castoria is maxed out i'm not saying use john solely to replace castoria absolutely that's not what i'm saying uh 20 percent arts and 20 battery does not compare to uh 20 attack 30 mp gain 50 battery and a 50 arts buff cannot compare but if you're using plug suit and your paracel your lena your gilgamesh they're already bond 10 hey you can use john now instead of only using her for stall now you can use her for farming very 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 lightly and with some massive asterisks 
This skill was dog shit before because if you were not fighting a servant, this literally did nothing. If they were an MPing, it literally did nothing. But again, you time skills when you need them. Now it reduces MP damage for all enemies. Still one turn, but one enemy is better than servant because especially in the lost belts, a lot of those end bosses like Morgan, I'm pretty sure she does not count as a servant. Morgan in Lost Belt 6 does not count as a servant, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't think the Bargus or Balsin Babanshi, I don't think they count as servants either. Because they're not servants. They're living they're living fairies at that point. So one enemy, it's just universally better. You also get 50% defense down for that uh enemy for one turn. Uh but after uh, unlike uh this is the reverse of Lee Shu and Assassin because he has like a 50 attack buff and then 20 for the other two turns. <coughs> this is the 50 defense and then 30% defense for the other two turns. The 20, the, the one turn is actually the weaker one. At, at least she has this. I do think this is like massive uh, for like just damage. Like, if you are bringing her as, like, as a replacement for one of the other supports, like Helena, this is a huge damage increase for uh, turn three. You are definitely going to kill whoever you're fighting. Uh, as long as you're, uh, as long as we're not talking about, like, a storm pod, because then obviously those damage numbers are a lot higher to hit. Third skill, it's a bound. It's over 120%, reason there being it fights magic resist. And because it bypassed stun resistant, only servants that have like super high magic resist, I'm talking goddess essence plus magic resist EX, uh, or some combo of that, like going with the above resistance going up to like 50, like anywhere from 30 to 50%. That's where this is not going to be guaranteed. But it bypasses stun resistance so if someone in their passive has cannot be stunned they can at least still be bound it can still happen magic resist ex as the passive 25 percent debuff resistance it turns any 100 percent buff into a three out of four chance which the the more significant the fraction like the the less inflated the fraction is, just the better the value is. Like if you go from a hundred out of a hundred to three out of four, like imagine like you're doing a spin wheel, like a wheel of fortune shit. Instead of having a hundred slices, you have four. Like the odds of getting what you want perceptually feels better. You can pretty much just ignore this anti-ruler. You do not care about damage with John. If you have the coins, sure, you can use it, but you should not be trying to do damage. She, these two are significantly better for her. Uh, extra attack, if she's going to be soloing, then this does have a lot of value because you just get more out of like her dog shit uh, face cards and her extra attack. Like These are bad. This will clean it up, but it's not going to fix our issues. It, like Getting this maxed out is not going to make her extra attack. Not gonna do a whole lot of damage because again or maybe not again this is stupidly low attack this is kishi wong body toria attack and those are the most glaring flaws for those units uh that have massive attack buffs can crit really hard but they gimp their base attack so low dawn has that gimp but it's not because she's gonna be doing crazy damage Mana loading is just generally nice. Uh, I'm not gonna bring up like Castoria farming because it, you're, I, unless you like, you're only bringing her for the arts and defense down, which again, you're basically just trading Oberon for John. I, I don't know if a lot of people are going to make that choice, uh, but her M, John's MP does nothing for farming. So you don't, this is, for CQs install only. 
not farming. So before we see how mid her buffed MP, let's see how ass it was before. The scaling is horrendous, five to 15%. I hope they change this with the buff, but the most damning thing at the start of the game was this. She stunned herself for two turns. Now this does not mean that you MP and then uh, after like the, you're stunned for two turns after the MP turn. No, you cannot move after the MP and then you're stunned the next turn. That was what this meant. Uh, Assassin Okitan and Tom, no, not not Assassin Okitan, uh, Tomo Cat and Fran, I believe have the two turns stunned. At least uh, Tomo Cat has the two turns stunned. That's what um. That's what a two turn stun does. It means you can't use face cards, uh, to refund, and you're stunned the next turn. They needed to change this shit, so they made it a full party cleanse. But they did not change the HP uh, recovery, and they also did not change the scaling. The reason being, this was a super early buff, like Leader London, um. Clear London. Now, granted, this probably was later into part one or at the. Oh, no, clear part one. So this was at least after Sol Solomon. Oh, dear God. You had to wait till she had her MP. Ew. Oh, my God. How is how are people using her? How are people using her if her MP sucked that much? Like for well over a year. Oh, makes it so much worse. Anyway, again, when they buffed the MP, they did not change the scaling. I think this is the dumbest shit that you have an MP1 and a MP2 difference actually being three times. It is so, especially for a permanent servant, it is just scummy. And me on my main NA account. I'm fucked because I don't know what happened to my original John. Something happened to it and apparently I fed it into a servant or some shit. I don't fucking know how that even happens. So now I have to go for MP. I have to get MP3 for John for her to be functioning. Is a 5% defense boost to the party is literally nothing. She, John cannot spam her MP repeatedly. You cannot ramp up this MP like she is a single target, uh, like an arts looper. She's not Summer Abuki. She is not spamming her MP fast enough that you're gonna, at MP5, you're gonna have a 75% defense up consistently. That's almost, that's, I don't even think that's even possible unless you're fighting someone that literally hits you like literally 15 times. Like a multi hit and does it three hit three times in their attack turn. I don't see that ever happen. I don't know why the scaling for this is this skew. All they have to do is increase all the value of this by 5%. And then it takes it from a three times difference to a two time. The base number is higher and the MP2 is also higher. What they should have added on to this. This, this, uh, this really just pisses me off. She is their ruler. So leveling her skills, not that hard. Uh, especially if you do lottos, this part it's easy. The ascension, probably more annoying for people, but at least it's only five of each and not needing 10 of each. Okay, Fucking imagine if you actually needed uh, 10 of each of these for every ruler. Ugh. She needs so many foreign god hearts though. It's stupid. It is It is really, really bad. I wish she needed other maps. And then they give her spirit root as her append to like fuck off. Fonzi bust her performance while she's on the field. Like, like, they're not going to be using her with buster units. This is, like, probably one of the most, like, 
not there bonsies out there like who are you use what buster unit are you using john with like th this had to be like earliest meta in fgo where you needed like a damage dealer a, a sustain and a star generator like some basic bitch shit before people realize how to actually play the game like horrendous Von Crass Aftons. I would never recommend anyone to ever re run this on her. Is John better because of the skill buff? Absolutely. She has more roles than she did, and her current role before this buff is now she just does it better. If you get her, you're happy, but she definitely still needs some work. All right, hopefully this time the audio is not fucked and I don't have to re-record this again. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.